We have seen convolutional neural networks solve an array of problems in computer vision. For the past year or so, we are seeing transformers with attention modules replace convolutional neural networks by performing as good as convolutional neural networks. Can we now ditch both convolutional neural networks and transformers and live with simple neural networks which are just multi-layer perceptrons? MLP Mixer proposes just that. Let's have a look at MLP Mixer in this video. Whenever we do deep learning on images, the most obvious choice is the convolutional neural networks or CNNs. So CNN does two things. First, they mix features between spatial locations. As an example, if we take a 3x3 convolution kernel with a stride of 1, there is an overlap between the image regions covered in these two neighboring spatial locations. Secondly, if we take a 1x1 one one convolution operation with a stride of 1, what it does is extract features at non-overlapping spatial locations, thus extracting features specific to a given spatial location. Now these two are the main properties of CNNs and if we can incorporate these two in a vanilla neural network or multi-layer perceptron then we should be able to reach performance as good or if not better than CNNs with just a multi-layer perceptron. The MLP mixture achieves this with what is called channel mixing and token mixing. Let's take a single input image in this example it's a cat. As with any recent transformer architecture, let's first divide the input into equal size patches. For simplicity, let's say we have only 4 patches, that makes S equal to 4. Each patch is of dimension P by P in the paper. These patches are first passed through a projection layer. The projection layer is a simple fully connected layer with the output dimension of C. If we take the output dimension of the projection layer as c equal to 8, then the 4 patches lead to a 4 by 8 dimensional output. This they are referring to in the paper as table x. Now that we have this table x, we can move on to the main contribution of the paper which is the mixer layer. Each mixer layer is composed of the token mixing MLP and channel mixing MLP. The idea is very simple. We transpose the table X to form X transpose and pass it through the token mixing MLP. Then we once again transpose the output and pass it through the channel mixing MLP. To keep things simple, the output of these two token mixing and channel mixing MLP is the same dimension as the input. For example, if we give an input of 8 by 4, the output will also be 8 by 4. What we see here is just one layer of mixture. The network has several of these mixture layers end to end. Additionally, they also use skip connections and layer normalization in between these mixtures. They also use Galo nonlinearity instead of the ReLU nonlinearity. And with all these, we arrive at the mixer architecture. For the experiment, they first do pre-training on two datasets, namely the ImageNet 21K and ILSVRC 2021 ImageNet using the standard Atom optimizer with a batch size of 4096. They also do data augmentation such as RAND augment, drop, dropout, stochastic depth and mixup, which is becoming pretty much a common practice when training these massive networks. When fine-tuning for downstream tasks, they choose a batch size of 512 and use gradient descent instead of Atom Optimizer. In terms of the different models they have experimented with, it also comes down to the tunable parameters. For example, by increasing the number of layers, we can go from a small model to a base and then large and huge model. They also play around with the resolution of the patches, the hidden width of the tokens, and channel mixing MLP, which is DS and DC respectively. 
With all those variations in the model architecture, they compare their results with some of the state-of-the-art works like Vision Transformer, NFNets, Big Transfer, etc. In terms of the results, they show results of top one accuracy, both on the ImageNet dataset and an average across all five downstream datasets that they have chosen. One thing to note is that the mixture architecture seems to overfit the data, but they do overcome this with regularization techniques. Another thing is that the performance of mixture improves with the size of the network. And finally, in terms of the speed, it seems to be 2.5 times faster than the Vision Transformer and twice as fast as the Big Transform Transformer when it comes to inference. They also study the impact of increasing the size of the model both in terms of the model parameters like number of layers, hidden layer size, etc. and also in terms of the input image resolution. No surprises here, as the model size increases, the accuracy of fine tuning increases and as the model size increases, the throughput decreases. CNN architectures have a strong inductive bias towards the order of pixels in the input image. To study if the results are invariant to the change in input, the authors of the paper shuffled the patches of the input as shown in this figure and checked if it has any impact on the performance of the mixture. The results show that the mixture is much more robust to pixel permutations. Even with the global permuta permutation of the input pixels, the mixture performance drop is far less compared to the drop in performance of ResNet. With that, I think um, we can conclude the MLP mixture paper, which shows such a simple and elegant solution to leverage MLPs for revision tasks. I hope you liked this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.